This is the solution to written homework 24. Okay, well, <clears throat> this cubic is uh, an S-curve that's shaped like this. Okay, I know that it's I know that it's going up because in the to the right because its leading coefficient is positive. And this quadratic is a parabola that opens up. So because their shapes uh, look like that, that means that um, the sketch has to look something like this. So the cubic is like that, and then the quadratic, something like this. <clears throat> so our expectation, and we'll have to verify it with algebra, is that there will be three intersections. And what we need to do to complete the sketch is figure out, well, where are, are there really three intersections? And where are they? So we want to know the x values of those three. Uh, so to find those three values, we need to solve x cubed minus x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 2x squared minus x plus 1. Okay, so I'll move all the terms to the left hand side. So there's just the 1 x cubed. So if I move the 2x squared to the left hand side, that'd be minus 3x squared. If I add an x to both sides, that'd be plus 2x. And then if I subtract 1 from both sides, they're all gone. Okay, then I can see that there's x's in all terms. So I'll factor that out and get x squared minus 3x plus 2. And then that quadratic factors into what? x minus 1, x minus 2, equal to 0. And as a result, the solutions are 0, 1, and 2. So, <coughs> 0, 1, and 2. <clears throat> so our suspicion was correct, and the region R is, consists of, is, is all of the shaded region, and you can see that it consists of uh, two, two distinct pieces, the piece on the left and the piece on the right. So that's the sketch of the region. So, for part B, <clears throat> the area of the region, then, <clears throat> is the sum of two integrals. The integral from 0 to 1, and it's going to have to be red minus green. So it will be x cubed. So I'll do it like this. I'll, I'll refer to this as region 1, or subregion 1, and this one as subregion 2. So here, I'll do subregion 1. So subregion 1 will be x cubed minus x squared plus x plus 1, so the red minus the green, 2x squared minus x. Uh, plus 1 dx 
Simplifying, that'll be the integral from 0 to 1, and then that'll be it. x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x <coughs> dx. Okay, then we can use the fundamental theorem and get this this will be uh, x to 4 over 4 minus so x to that'll be x to 3 over 3 but then there's a 3 so that's just x cubed and then mm, plus x squared and then this evaluated from 0 to 1 it's nice that there's a 0 and a 1 that makes it as nice as possible so that'll be what a fourth uh, minus 1 plus 1, which is to say 1 fourth. So region 1, <coughs> region 1 contains 1 fourth area. Not much. Okay. And region 2 will be the integral from 1 to 2. And now, instead of being uh, red minus green, it'll be green minus red, which is to say it'll be like 2x squared minus x plus 1 minus x cubed minus x squared plus x plus 1. And if you simplify that, that's the integral from 1 to 2. <coughs> and it will be, all of these terms will be negated. So that will be negative x cubed plus 3x squared uh, minus 2x dx. So now find the antiderivative of that. That will be negative x to 4 over 4 and then plus x cubed, and then minus x squared from 1 to 2. OK, so let's plug all that in. <coughs> I can do that with my hand. So uh, plug in 2. 2 to 4 is 16 over 4 is 4. So that would be negative 4, and then plus 8, and then minus 4. minus <coughs> negative a fourth uh, plus one minus one. So that would be zero minus negative a fourth. So that's a fourth. So that's interesting. Both regions had area one fourth and therefore the total area is one fourth plus one fourth, which is a half.